Hello everyone and welcome to The Manifesting House where we discuss easy, effective methods you'll want to commit to. Today we're going to discuss the really odd question of whether or not it's okay to share your intentions with others before they've materialized. I've always found this question odd because at first glance it would appear that the answer is up to the beholder. And while overall that is true, Today, I will give you a definite answer supported by a solid argument. First, I'd like to make it clear that however you choose to bring about your desires into physical 3D reality is entirely up to you. You will choose the methods, the understandings, and the belief systems that feel good to you, just as you choose to pursue the desires that make you feel good the desires that light you up on the inside and on the outside. You should not receive any judgment on what you desire and how you come upon it. And while others may try to control or to refine your choices, you do not have to adhere to their preferences. Unless, of course, you choose to, then you may. I just wanted to work that in right at the beginning because I do not want you to feel pressured into doing things my way or even in the ways of the most celebrated teachers of mindset. You are an expert in yourself. You're an expert in what works for you. And so I encourage you to really focus in on who you are, what works best for you, and to replicate that even if everybody else disagrees. So, should you tell others what your goals are? Should you tell others what you are actively manifesting before they've appeared physically in your life? Many people will say, yes, you should. The reasons they'll cite for this are beautiful in my opinion. You should tell others what you're manifesting because you're certain, you're certain that it's yours. That's a fact. In fact, sharing news of your manifestations before they've manifested, that is, is the most richest statement you can make to the universe, to the source, to yourself that, yes, indeed, I am this person. I am this ideal. I am the rightful owner of this wonderful thing. If you are truly sure that the thing you desire is really yours, then you should exclaim that to everybody who knows you. Put it in your Instagram bio. Trisha Singh, homeowner. Trisha Singh, happily married to her specific person. Trisha Singh, multimillionaire. But let me ask you something, Trisha Singh. Once you do become a multimillionaire, would you naturally go around telling everyone about your wealth? And if you can't answer that yet, I have an easier question. Let's say you are at your ideal weight and your body is a dream body by your definition. You know you are body goals. Do you regularly tell others what you weigh? Do you give them a description of what your body looks like beneath your clothing? Or do you just have confidence in the fact that others will take just one look at you and they'll know that you have a beautiful body? Confidence is the key. True assumption is a silent but profound confidence in what you know you have, in what you know you can do, in who you know you are. The law of assumption, the law of attraction, the whole topic of positive thinking and changing one's mindset, it can sometimes scare plenty of people at first blush. It's easy to misconstrue these principles with the promotion of delusional thinking or unrealistic living. When in actuality, these principles and the pushers of these principles are only trying to encourage us to make a mental shift. It's a vibrational shift. It's a vibrational journey after all. From here, from where you are, to over there, where you want to be. It happens inside of us. It happens 
through us. It's all happening behind the scenes. Think of the most popular techniques that you know of. Visualizations, affirmations, scripting, SATS, power posing even. None of these techniques involve the presence of another. When you visualize, you close your eyes, you shut out the external world, you go inside, inside your mind, and you construct a scene to your liking. You open your eyes, you go about your day, hopefully with a renewed trust in your vision and with a certainty that it's on its way to you, if not already yours. When you affirm, you look at a mirror or you gaze at a vision board. Scripting, it takes place in the intimacy of your journal or your diary. SATS, you lay in the womb of your bed and you drift off to sleep in the scene that pleases you. Even power posing, you don't tell anybody why you're standing like that, you just stand like that. Think of the things that you have in your life, more specifically, the preferable things, and simply replicate that process. Did you constantly say to everyone, I drive a red Lexus before you drove a red Lexus? And even if you did mention it, did you constantly mention it? I'm confident the answer is no, because humans become confident where there's adequate assurance. During the course of this video, already we've mentioned the word confident and confidence so many times, but what is the definition of confidence? Google defines confidence as the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something firm trust. Alternate definitions are the state of feeling certain about the truth of something, a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. Feeling, belief, credence, firm trust, faith, conviction. Meditate on these words. Don't confuse confidence for arrogance. What is the definition of arrogance? The quality of being arrogant. Well, that's simple enough. But here are some other words associated with the term arrogance. We've got haughtiness, egotism, immodesty, pretension, boasting, and there it is. When someone always finds a way to work it into conversations about how wonderful they are, how many wonderful things they can do, how lovely their life is, we as humans are quick to immediately call it out and call it boasting. Boasting reflects arrogance. Arrogance is a mask for insecurity. And insecurity is uncertainty or anxiety about oneself. Insecurity is a lack of confidence. So for this part of the video, now I'm gonna reach behind here and get my trusted Neville Goddard book. There we go, this big guy. Taken from his book at your command. Neville says, do not discuss your ambitions or desires with another, for the other will only echo your present fears. And that's another element to this matter. Are you confident enough in the truth of your goal? Do you truly accept that it is yours? Do you truly accept that it is even possible for you? If you don't, if you have just one shred of doubt, then exposing your desires to anyone could jeopardize the very birth of them by magnifying your fears on a much broader stage, thereby continuing to materialize just the present fears of them, the absence of what it is that you want. I honestly like to equate this concept with the idea, if you'd call it, of conception and birth. A child is conceived, in privacy, to no knowledge of the parents. The child grows within the womb of the mother, 
to no knowledge of anyone on the outside, including the mother, the mother will receive signs of a shift. This we call symptoms, morning sickness, body changes, hormonal changes, etc. This secrecy of the formation of life will continue for weeks until eventually the mother begins to show to the outside world. She is pregnant, she is expecting. And at this point, it's almost a certainty that she will bear life beyond her own. I'd also like to note that the mother has done nearly nothing in order, nearly, nearly nothing <laughs> in order to bring about the birth of this manifestation. The conditions were right, a child was conceived, the manifestation grew and took form mostly all on its own until it became so real it sent the mother signs of its existence and then one day it fully and physically manifested for everyone to now know. Secrecy is the first law to be observed in realizing your desire. Again, by Neville Goddard. In the conception of your desire and in the early stages of its very formation, you're gonna want to practice privacy and secrecy. Be silent about it. It's your little secret. Give your goal a chance to form into something more tangible. Did I just say tangible? Tangible. It's not your work to alert anyone on its arrival. When your desire is ready to reveal itself, it will. You'll begin to show. Your weight loss or your weight gain or your appearance changes will become visible. You'll be spotted around town or at gatherings with your specific person or that crush that you were talking about maybe like once or twice earlier. Your car, your clothing, your new comfortable relaxed attitude will begin to reflect someone who must have more liquid money. These signs, all of these signs, they happen naturally without any external push from you. Now, as I was going through the book at your command, trying to find those quotes for you, I actually came across another quote that I really want to share with you right now because it's very relevant to this topic. Your secret convictions of yourself these secret claims that no man knows of when really believed will be shouted from the housetops in your world for your convictions of yourself are the words of the god within you now let's take that apart for a second how many different times did neville say secret convictions secret convictions the secret claims that no man knows of then he goes on to say when really believed will be shouted from the housetops now i can understand why some people will be like oh my god he's telling me to go talk about it but shouted from the housetops in your world not in the world does that make sense <laughs> for your convictions of yourself are the words of the God within you. Everything is happening inside of you. It's all inside of you, my love, all inside of you. But yes, I just wanted to share that little bit of uh, information that I just now spotted as I sat down to film the video. So should you tell anyone what you're manifesting before it has made a physical appearance in life to summarize the answer of this question though you cannot see physically what you desire first accept that it is truly yours do this in your mind vibrationally then from this state of being that which you desire observe what you naturally do on the outside and whatever these actions are, they're correct. And with that being said, thank you for watching this video. 
I truly do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I trust you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. How did you like today's topic? I truly do hope I was able to answer your question and to give to you some much valued clarity. And again, just to make it clear, I am not saying that it is wrong to share the news of your upcoming manifestations. I know you're super excited. I know how you feel. You feel good. You feel clear. You feel like you finally figured it out. I get that. I get that. And you're excited. You feel good. I totally understand that. I'm not saying it's wrong to share the news. But what I am doing is just encouraging you to get in the vibration of the person who already has what it is that you want. And then, only then, follow where it leads you. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Toodles.